need somebody else to step up. Kulam was good game one. She had six points. Scoreless in game two, though, so they need to make an effort to get her the ball. Well, we're going to find out. Liddy will drop it off to Burdick. Lene working the three-woman weave action. Haley sees some daylight. See Berta. She'll miss it. It's tipped out. This Mongolian team with Aryan Setsek, Fat Ardeen, Indra, Uzibat, Kulano Nobatar, and Sarenkan Muksaikan. Dan Lith has it taken away, and Kulan will deliver the goods underneath Mongolia. Draw first blood here, Lene, cross court. Wait a minute, give me that. Saren calm, stay calm, and composed as she goes off the window. It's 2-0, Mongolia. Yeah, good start for the Mongolians oh, I'm here. telling you. Aggressive right. play. It's, it's only two points, and that can be taken away with one stroke. Harper misses the shot, but USA will get a chance to reset after a foul is called on Mongolia. Both teams who were representatives at the Tokyo Olympics, of course, the United States women going on to take gold. There's Brink putting the pressure on the inside. And we were talking about Cameron Brink yesterday. And you were saying how much you, you like her skill set and what she brings to this American team. Yeah, she's so long. So she got four blocks in two games, which is a lot, right? That's going to deter teams from getting to the hoop. And on the other end, she was getting some easy bunnies under the basket. First game it may, have, may have been a little warm up. Those only one point. Four points in the second game, though. Got her post game going. Still adjusting. So is the American defense. They're down 3 1. Lith. The stroke ain't stroking right now. She'll try it inside. Wait a minute. They didn't clear it. Got to step beyond that two point arc with one foot completely and at least lift the other foot to continue. She did not do it, so this hard work. Uh, won't matter. It's Kulan, Mongolia trying to pull off the upset of the tournament and have a now three point advantage early. They try to get Brink the ball and they waste the possession. So uh, the Americans so far, they're having all kinds of problems. They need an intervention. Oh my goodness, I was get a second look at that pass. That That's was right. filthy. That is nice. My fingernail's dirty. <laughs> it's 4-1. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Kulan. And this, with, with this hot start, imagine if Mongolia can get a two or, man, easy lane like that. Kulan to the crib. It's 5-1 Mongolia. It's looking like the USA might underestimate the, the heart of the Mongolian Warriors here. I don't Coming know. Out. And Brink's going to get called for the foul. I don't know. USA ladies, they might still got sleep in their eyes. They need some of that espresso you have in front of you. Oh, yeah, they they certainly need a wake-up call. Because uh, it's 5-1. to one, And we haven't even seen Indra get it going yet. Aryan sets it. Sets her feet and her sights. And that shot is on target to make it 7-1. to one. My goodness, what a start for the Mongolians. Open shot after open shot, getting all the rebounds too. Just out hustling the USA right now. Oh my goodness. Haley Van Lith, can she stop the bleeding? That will help somewhat as she gets the layup to go, but still a five point game. And Indra is being pressured. Van Lith, all up in her space. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the physical jump start maybe for the US that they need. Van Lith just putting pressure on the ball. Showed a lot of effort. So USA looking at a five-point deficit here early. Kyle Montgomery, AK the voice of 3X3. Boss Rosendahl, AK the mountain here with you. Kulan, she is not cooled off. She hits the jump hook and it's a six-point game. Can Lene handle it? No, she can't. It goes off her ankle out of bounds and the Mongolians are fired up. They have wings right now. Look, they came out in their first game yesterday and had just Indra go off. Second game, they were kind of flat. Now in the third game, they are fighting to stay alive. Look at this, 8-2. Indra, oh, that was spit out. But halfway down, now Brink, she turns the corner. Brink's got the, the step. And Cameron Brink will 
draw the foul, at least, to get to the line. As the Americans try to sort this out. Yeah, they got to fight back, and they're going to have to fight back on the back of two-point shots and just being physically more dominant. But right now, the Mongolian women are taking the physical out of the game. They are putting so much pressure on the U.S. right now. Well, we're going to see what the red, white, and blue is made of. They're facing some adversity. Down by eight. I mean, down by uh, five. In an 8-3 start, it is a 10-minute sprint to 21. And plenty of time left. Brink all by herself as Burdick sets her up. Kulan with the slick pass. And no bucket there for Mongolia. Brink wants the ball on the block. And she and Burdick, uh, they are not on the same page. So a disappointing outcome for USA on that particular possession. The lead is at four now. And Mongolia led by as many as six. Aryan Setseg to Indra. They, they want to get her a look. Good defense there from Lene Harper. She swipes the cookies. And now it's Liddy. Liddy trying to light a fire under this American team. And a foul called on Mongolia. They can't be pushing on the OG C, uh, CB. That's what the Mongolians need to do, though. And now the referee calls a foul. But they, again, they are so physical trying to make up for the difference in height that they have. Just pushing people around right now a little bit. I'm, I'm, for them, I'm looking to get Indra going. She, uh, she hasn't hit a shot just yet, or not from the outside anyways. And they need her to stay alive in this game. And just stir up, right? You kind of want to build on that. Well, I think that makes it a little bit more scary that the fact that Indra is their top scorer and she hadn't I don't think she's got a bucket yet, right? Nope, and mind you, she went off for 12 points yesterday at four or seven two-pointers in that first game versus Hungary. She can really get it going. Oh. Van Lent took her to spin class. You gonna learn today. 8-5. Here's Liddy. Up fake, uh-oh. She got the sliders turned up now. It's a two-point contest. Yeah, the U.S. fighting themselves back in this game on the back of Haley Van Lith driving to the basket. Shot's not falling. I'm just getting a layup. Smart play. I mean, take what the defense gives you. And that's exactly what Van Lith has been doing. They are suffocating Indra. They don't want to give her a look. Aryan sets it. Wet, wet. That's her second two-pointer already. And the double defense. Got, we got one Mongolian player down, though, because there was a lot of contact there. And she's an obvious pain. Is that Aryan sets it? Yes, it is. And you hate to see that. She's been playing so well up to this point, and even you see when Kulan is walking off, she, she can see that uh, she's really, really hurt here. Let's take a look at the replay. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's an elbow uh, from her own teammate. Yes. Yeah, I hate to see that. She's, uh, she's obviously in some pain. So that that will certainly put this game on ice for a moment. And we'll see if she's able to return. But she's, she looks like she's shaken up a bit. Oh, yeah, she's not herself slow to her feet. She's, she's going to make her way to the bench. It looks like she might not be returning to this game. She's looking all kinds of woozy right now. An elbow like that will really put you on your back. Wow. We'll, we'll see uh, a four-point game. And it's exactly what Mongolia did not need after this blazing fast start. Their top <clears throat> top shooter from beyond the two-point arc uh, is, is out uh, to be determined. See if the Americans can take advantage. Van Lip, she's going to miss the crib. Burdick. Gets it inside, then out to the deep end. Liddy 
will track down the rebound. She's getting left to the baseline. That's a seventh foul in the Mongolian women, too. They're in the bonus. They're not even over halfway mark of the game yet. They're putting Van Lith on the line for two. That physicality just a little too much right now. Yes, yeah, something to certainly keep an eye on is that foul situation. And Van Lith is going to stroke the first of two. Now you don't want to give her this type of confidence, right? When you're Mongolia, because she's a shooter, hasn't hit too many shots just yet. And you can get your confidence up from the free throw line. Lene Harper. I left that one short. Down to a two-point game. The Olympian, Kulan, to the crib. Back up through to a three-point game. Can Kulan hold off Brink? She does just enough to throw the shot off. And she's, she's looking like a warrior. You can see her yelling. That's a primal roar from Kulan Anovatar. And Aryan Setzik, she's still on the bench right now. She hasn't left this game, so she might be able to return. Yeah, she's still here. Now she's cheering on her teammates. Let's hope she can get back in this game because they need some of her shooting. Look at that. She just got up and got back in the game. Aryan said, listen, we do call them the Mongolian Warriors for a reason. Hey. Wow, she's earned her stripes in this game. Took a big shot to the face and Credit Aryan Setzek, Bat Ardeen for making her way back into this contest. We'll see if she's her normal self. Well, if you can come back from an elbow like that, that's, an, that's a horse I would put my money on. <laughs> <laughs> if she hits a two boss, this place is going to go crazy. Yes. But the same for Lene. No, Harper misses. Van Lick will score it. And she is having a scoring spree right now. Van Lick. It's nearly single-handedly lifted the United States back into this game. It was a six-point advantage for Mongolia early. As we are ticking in front of the midway point, USA have pulled within two. Yeah, I told you Van Lip could go off, right? And she hasn't had a very dominant game just yet, but look at her now. Almost every point for U.S. All right, said that couldn't get the rebound. Brink using that link. She misses Burdick on the cut. Now Liddy, though, moving left, in and out. Brink. Ooh. She was, I, I haven't seen her try to extend the floor so much out here. Nope. I just missed it. Aryan Setzeg drives. She's bottled up. Aryan Setzeg. That's a miss. Loose ball comes back to Aryan Setzeg. She'll kick it out to Indra. Indra puts it in ya. Two piece combo. Indra left all alone to that rebound, and you don't want to leave her open like that. You can't leave her open like that. I'm, USA, I'm sure they saw the film, and that's the one player that they didn't want to let get hot. Aryan Setzeg, I'm, they don't, I don't think they accounted for Aryan Setzeg hitting a couple of twos early. Nah, and she is getting every board, too. But they can't be as physical anymore because they're in the bonus, so now Brent's got easy money underneath. Aryan Setzeg with another two, though. Can't get it to go. Rebound set and come. Oh, Jess, Jess missed it, but we'll see how the USA are going to respond here. Burdick takes the bump. See Burda. Long two. That wasn't touching nothing but glass. Uh, the Mongolians are a little rushed right now. They, uh, they're unsure what their offense should be. I'd say get the ball to Indra, try to get her to get something going. But another foul on the Mongolians. Putting Brink to the line for two and one. So Brink is on the brink of maybe tying this game up for the USA. An eighth foul on Mongolia. They are in the penalty. So two free throws, two big ones. Uh, forthcoming for Cameron Brink, the new addition on this American team this year. As they look to end an eight-year gold medal drought. Last one for the USA women was 2014, chalked with WNBA stars. Mm -hmm. Maybe they weren't superstars at that time, but they certainly became superstars. Maybe we'll see some stars born. Cameron Brink at the line. Brink. It's a one-point game. Oh, 
Oh, second one's missed, and that, that would be out of bounds off of USA. She, she left one out there. There's a chance to get the game tied up, but she could get it go down. Good, good catch, Box. Yeah, I've still got them hands. Good hands. Stop putting your papers everywhere and not securing them. It's kind of windy out here, ladies and gentlemen. Indra with the step back. Couldn't stroke it. Harper stopped on her drive. Burdick thought about it, gave her a cross instead, dropped it off to Pink. You're going to take that and you will like it. Indra's pass to Kulan. Kulan gets the step on Burdick. She'll answer right back. And offensive foul called on Brink. Yeah, just a little bit too much elbow in that one. <laughs> We're under three minutes to go now. Mongolia is still trying to hold him off. Kulan, that, that was just off target. And uh, Van Lith is fouled on the rebound attempt. Not a smart foul. That's the ninth foul in Mongolia. They are close to the double bonus, and fouls is the one thing keeping the United States in this game, right? They get to go to the free throw line every single time. Yeah, fouls and uh, Haley Van Lith. Yes. I am Elvis. looking for Harper, though. Yeah, Lene Harper. Lene Harper is a little bit uh, lost here offensively. Well, she had 14 points through two games, the first two games. So she's a bucket getter, but you're right. United States are in front, and the kids are going crazy. Oh, how they gonna feel after that? Saren, calm. Burdick has it stripped away. Van Lith will get the score, and we're knotted up again. Van Lith a little overzealous there under pressure. Foul, fourth foul in the United States. Wow. What a game. Yeah, USA, they have done a great job in playing clean defense because they are not in the jeopardy of, of being in the penalty. In a tie game, that's going to benefit them down the stretch with 2.25 to go. Can they defend the two-point arc from these Mongolian Marks women? Arian Tsetseg, she missed it point blank. She still may not be seeing clearly after that shot she took earlier. See, third uh, bucket, USA back in front, and Mongolia are going to throw it away. So the United States making the plays when they have to. Their veteran, who's already won a World Cup gold in 2014, Sierra Burdick, she's got her fingerprints on this one. No need to dust. She and Van Lith, they are the culprits. Brink drops it off. Van, Van Lith has now lifted USA to a two-point advantage. Can they take it away in one foul stroke? No. Burdick skies for the rebound. Buck 45 and counting. Van Lith misses the stroke. Oh, Brink with an over-the-back foul there. Yeah, Brink taller than the Mongolians, but she is uh, a little bit too much on that one. Look at Van Lith, though, taking over this game. She's got the remote control in her hand. Aryan Setseg, high arc on the two. Good box out from Harper. And USA, the momentum has shifted. They're feeling a lot better now. Yeah, the Mongolians right now are a little lost for offense, right? The USA is putting a lot of pressure on the ball handler. They can't get any open shots. Their drives are just not connecting. Burdick to Harper. Back to Burdick. Bullet pass. Look at Burdick. Kulan getting deed up right now for Van Lith, but she just still put her on the bucket list. Mongolia is not out of this yet. It's a one possession game. Harper passes up the two. Look, Van Lith, she's got Burdick. Uh, yeah, Burdick down there. She will miss. Look at Burdick is doing everything right now. Rebounding, scoring, defending. Van Lith. She's a scoring machine. 
no malfunction seen as USA are on the brink of victory. Good defense there from Van Lith. And Van Lith, she's got the rock in her hand. Oh, but she fumbles that one away. 37 seconds, Kulan will take the easy layup to get the Mongolians within two. Harper going for game, no. Rebound to Mongolia. Aryan Setsig, no. Rebound, but a foul on Harper. So, obviously Mongolia with 18 seconds to go. They want to talk it over. Want to set up a look for two. Aryan Setsig has lost her touch a bit. Injures the, the most dangerous weapon here. Well, yeah. I don't know what, it, what they two, call here. From the two-point line, though, Kulan's been going at it, going to the hoop, but you need a two-point shot here, then a stop, and then you can see whatever, you, whatever time you have left. So I'd say run a play for Indra, try to get her open, because her dribbles haven't been getting her any shots. She needs to get open off of the screen, get a shot up from the two-point line, try to see if you can tie this game up. And listen, USA have been doing a great job closing out on the two-point shots. We've seen several deflections. Brink obviously has that length, and Van Lift's energy has been on 100. Kulan, that shot is off mark. So with four point, oh, no, that was the shot clock, my bad. 11 seconds remaining in this game. Mongolia are gonna be forced to foul, and that is a that is a horrible position for them to be in. They cannot. They, they have can. nine fouls, so they, they need to get a steal. If they if they foul, it's two free throws, that should that could be game as well as possession. So you're not getting anything out of that foul. That's where this is where the physicality of early game, where the Mongolians took their lead, is really coming back to bite them in the behind. Yeah, that's true. Uh United States here. Man. That's a, that's a, <laughs> they, they fought themselves back into this game. Not a lot of shots from the outside still, though. True. But I hope you didn't have heart issues watching this game. Ben Lith wants the final score. Harper will get it. It's going to end just before the horn. USA shows some grit as they pull off a comeback trailer by six, and they win it 21-18 over Mongolia.